An insurmountable sense of pain and loss witnessed by Finance Minister Njeru Gidai and family as the body of their last born son is slowly lowered to his final resting place at the Ndia constituency family home in Kirinaga County. <laughs> Mourning the loss of a 23 year old man, they say, has gone too soon. It is a final send-off that began early morning at the Lee Funeral Home where the body had been laid. A sense of loss visible from the start. But it is at their Kagio home in Deer where hundreds, including constituents, had gathered that family and friends spoke about the young man they moan. Brian Karanga Njeru, a fourth year computer science student at the University of Nairobi. Our dear Brian was always cheerful, caring and loving. If he was your friend, he was your true friend to the end. He was this person who used to care so much that if you talk to him about an issue disturbing you, he would take it at heart. I have not cried since I was in primary school. Now I weep every day. How does one say goodbye to a brother like you, Bran? A brother I got to spend every day with. He was my best friend. He always found some good in every person he met. Always full of life, a special charm. Coming to terms with the tragic death of the last-born son of a family who died under circumstances that remain unclear on the 16th of May, the greatest strength by the Gidai family as well as close friends. As a family, we have accepted the death of our brave Brian. I will tell you that we have been strengthened. So the most important thing is that it's not the number of years that you have lived, it is what you have done with those very, very few years. God has that power and also takes the best. So we have accepted that uh, God, out of his garden, he picked Brian from our home, and he was the best at that time. But we must say thank you to God, because God is the one who gives us, and he's the one who takes. Na wakati ya mugu ikifika, such messages of condolence echoed by government officials and politicians who came to mourn with the family. President Mwai Kibaki and Prime Minister Raila Odinga also sending their condolences in messages read on their behalf by Deputy Prime Minister Uhuru Kenyatta and Lands Minister James Orengo. Peace comes from him. And it is he that you should trust in. Friends will come and go. But if you believe, the Almighty Lord will be with you. He will stand with you. He will comfort you in this great hour of need. I stand here to say pole and to wish you God's solace and comfort during this very difficult moment. Kenyans, we are positive about life when there is a death. We are positive about life when there is a wedding. Uh, but in all other uh, conversations and engagements we have in life, we forget about being positive. So Brian, I think, belongs to the new Kenya. The life of a young man taken too soon, but who family members say touched them deeply in the years they spent with him. Evelyn Mumboy, Citizen TV, India, Kirinyaga County. <laughs> Then I put it up for you.